So after a while not releasing any video because I have lots of stuff to do and I will tell you about all of them in the end. Uh, I decided to make a long video related to the cursor which is this little guy here, right here on the top which helps us determine exactly where we are on the track. Uh, now if you know all the shortcuts and all the movements it's really helpful to ease your navigation and workflow whenever you're writing a project. So first of all let's cover all the obvious and then I'll tell you some other extras. Um, whenever you want to move the cursor you have the plus and the minus to go back and forth. These are on the number pad. If you want to go faster you are holding shift which will move it a little bit faster. And if you want to move a little bit slower by a set of quantiles that you have from here, you can change. Pressing on control and on the minus and the plus will jump exactly that set of quantiles back and forth. Next thing we have is the locators. Whenever you're pressing 1 on the number pad or 2 on the number pad, you can jump between the left and the right locators. If you don't have these, you can find these parameters right down here at the bottom or the transport bar, if you don't have it, press on F2 to open it. Which you will also be able to find these buttons to jump between the right and the left locator. Next thing is the zero. Whenever you're playing something and you're pressing stop, you can press on zero to get back to the point where you started from. Which means if I'm moving my mouse and starting from another point, Every time pressing 0, it will come back to this same place. The 0 is also on the number pad. If you don't have a number pad, you can press on the stop here. That will do exactly the same thing. Next thing is the delete, also in the number pad, which will jump you to the beginning of the track. If you don't have a number pad, you can press on the comma in your regular keyboard, which will also do the same thing. Next is the B and the N, which will jump between the different boxes you have on the tracks. I'm pressing on N and it will navigate to the beginning of the next box in this specific track. Pressing on N again will go to the end and to the next one etc etc etc. Pressing on B will also do the same on the opposite direction. Now here's a cool tip I discovered recently. If you're pressing on L while highlighting a box it will jump with the cursor to the beginning of this box. Which means if you're losing yourself in the track, you recorded something and accidentally pressed on delete to get back to the beginning of the track. Now instead of zooming out and looking the correct place you were in the track, simply press on L and it will jump back to the last position you've been in. Now you don't have a command to go to the end of the box, but I assigned a key command for that. Which is the colon located right next to the L, which will send me to the end of each selected part. Pretty cool, pretty handy. And the last thing I want to talk about is the shift B and N which will jump between the markers. Pressing shift and pressing on B will jump to the markers before and on N will go to the next markers. Very easy, very fast, especially if you have all the markers set and you know exactly where you want to go. Also you can jump between the markers by pressing on any of the number pads which are not 1 or 2, which means if I press on 3, it will go to number 3, press on 7, it will go to number 7, etc. Unfortunately, you don't have more than 10, so either use what you got or make less markers. So these are all the cursor movements I know. If you know anything else, please leave a comment, let everybody else know and learn how to use Cubase a little bit better. By the way, we're making a big course that is going to be on Udemy. It's going to be intensive and it's going to cover everything I know about instruments. So if you followed my videos, you know that there's a lot to learn. Next Monday we will have a competition, so stay tuned. It's going to be interesting. See you guys soon and make some great music.